So, a superb recovery yesterday. Thought I was going to get skunked and eventually got those two and one really hard farting brown. Um, and I put the welly to him uh, as Dave Jensen suggested you do. Really tested that four and a half X and he was well hooked. I actually struggled to get the barbless hook out. So, um, so today, remote work until lunchtime from this place. So this is where Barbs and I camped for New Year at the beginning of this year. And I'll show you the, the river here and then the remote work setup. So this is the river. Over there. And up. And that's, that's the car over there with a the Starlink setup. I really had one call for the day. It's quite just. I made it to this campsite five minutes before my first call of the day and I just managed to make it in time maybe a minute late right so today for the first time I'm trying out the two solar panels and the Starlink is on the roof of the car facing south and here is the fantastic DJI battery pack and I can see it's at 30, 33% the input 220 watts and output 45 watts 45 is the Starlink and the fridge together and then here's the iPad I've got my laptop for later but already now I can see the one challenge here is the flies and I'm not sure what I can do about that Look at that view. Stunning. We have a temperature check. <clears throat> Outside 26. In the water 17. Pretty beautiful. Pretty remote. Well, I don't know if it's strange or worrying, but in this particular pool here last year um, on the 31st of December, I caught about six trout over there. And I did see one rising over there, but um, nothing. Still very beautiful. Pretty sure this is where I caught my three pounder when I last fished this river in December. I vaguely remember landing it just here. Pretty stunning, but at the moment I'm just going for a walk. All right. This uh, grail is perfect for big adventures like this. Let's collect the water. Found a rock. Here we go. Water's good to drink. Happy days. I'm sure I just saw a rise there. Just as I put my fly into the tree. There we go.
Так, вау. Oh yeah. Beautiful rainbow pinned in the top jaw. Thank you, buddy. I think I saw you earlier. Don't worry. I'm going to release you. Boy, he's in beautiful condition. Thanks, buddy. Hmm, not sure if I've got any evidence of that fish, but you need to trust me. I've just caught a rainbow here. I'm pretty sure I saw it rising. Um, just back over there, and then it was probably swimming up and up and up and up. And originally I had a, a dropper tag of maybe about four feet, and I, I did cast over him, but um, I sort of thought I'd maybe scared him away. So then I did the right thing. I took a breath and shortened my dropper tag to about two feet. And then put a little um, jig tag with a little bit of red in it. Um, and then fishing dry dropper on the Thomas & Thomas 10 foot 9 3 weight. Bar reel, sun line. And then a sighter, tippet ring. And then quite a long length of 4.5x to the Cat 3 Chernobyl and then 4.5x below. Happy days. Take a look at that for a pull. Holy smokes, this is a stunning river. All good. Just dunked my arm. Again, can't help but marvel at the Nearly fell in. But the power of water. You imagine the flood event. I would have stacked up these these branches. Wow, scary. Australia has a rare beauty to rival anything I've seen in this in this world. All that's missing are the trout rising down that bubble line. Right, so I've been fishing for four hours since I left the campsite and I've walked 5Ks and when you see that little contraption there, uh, that little love hut, then you know that you're at the Elm Sanctuary, um, which may or may not be a cult, religious cult. Right, walking back along the road. 5.3 k's to this point. Not sure how long the walk back is. Probably 3 k's. Maybe someone will give me a lift. Top of the hill. So all in, I reckon that was an 8k walk, round trip, uh, so 4k is per fish. It's hard yakka. Last time I fished that stretch, I got a lot. Right, so this is a bridge over the Goob called Max Crossing. And I'm thinking of fishing up or downstream from here on Saturday. That's the view downstream, and that's the view. That's the view upstream. <laughs> 